What's up, guys? This is Snake Eyes, bringing you another game on Crisis 2. Uh, once again, I apologize for the graphics. I still haven't got my display set up exactly the way I want it. Uh, you will see that in my next video, though. I do have to set up correctly. Um, so I'm less than level 10 in this game, so once again, I'm relatively new to the Crisis 2 game, still trying to get used to it. Still using a scar. I haven't unlocked, actually I have unlocked custom classes, but you're still limited on what weapons you can utilize on your first custom class. They do have default classes, just like in Modern Warfare, um, like a sniper class, a gunner class, a scout. Uh, depending on what kind of weapon you like to utilize, they have a class, basic class for it. Uh, right there you see one of the cool things, if somebody gets a headshot on you in the game and you're watching the kill cam, you can uh, see how they got you and it's kind of cool how they did it. Uh, on this particular server, it is not allowing you to utilize your suit. You cannot use armor, you cannot use stealth, it's basic, you know, fire The only thing that it is allowing you to do is your perks, and just like in Modern Warfare 2, this game does have perks. Uh, actually, I think there are more per perks in this game than there is in Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. Um, they're based on uh, stealth is one category, power is another category, and weapon is the third category if I recall. Um, under weapon it has options for like steady aim, if you're uh, shooting while aiming down the site, there's another option if you are using a weapon such as a shotgun an auto shotgun and you want your fire to not be sprayed. It focuses the spray pattern a little bit more for you. So you'd have to go online and take a look at all the different, you know, options. Uh, but there's quite a few of them and of course a lot of these are unlocked later on in the game. So if you get into this game, you buy it and you get in with a bunch of guys that are like over level 40 or 30 you're getting your ass handed to you, uh, don't get frustrated, because uh, they're using a lot better armor, a lot better weapons, and they will have the upper hand. Uh, the upper hand is given to those players who have leveled, so it's best just to bite the bullet until you get to level 50. Um, I don't think there are prestiges in this game like there was for Modern Warfare, Black Ops, uh, once you get to 50, I think you're done. I may be wrong on that. Um, but it does take a while to get to that level. So as you can see, I'm kind of being defensive over here in the corner. Um, I like this area and this map because uh, it gives me plenty of time to see people coming my way unless they're stealth. But then again, this is not a server that you allows you to go stealth, so I will see them regardless. If this wasn't a server that, um, you know, didn't have the armor perks or the nano suit perks enabled, uh, and it allowed for people to stealth or use armor, I wouldn't be staying in one spot for, for very long just because of the stealth factor, and um, it's best to stay on the move, actually, in the normal game. Uh, if you're a really good, if you have a really good aim, this game is definitely for you, uh, both with the assault rifles and with the sniper guns. The one thing I did like about this game, and as you play the single player, you'll notice later on, is even though the weapons, it doesn't have the variety and the number of weapons that Modern Warfare 2, it does have futuristic weapons. There's one that shoots like power coils. It's like little bolts of electricity that it shoots from across the map. It was pretty cool. Um, once you run out of ammo, though, you get taken out. 
pretty quickly. And believe it or not, the uh, pistols in the game, uh, even though they're like a sidearm or a secondary weapon, you uh, you'd be surprised at how strong the pistols are in this game once you've leveled up and unlocked the other ones. If you remember right, in my last video, I told you that in order to use power ups or kill streak rewards, you have to retrieve the dog tags off of the dead players that you've killed. Uh, you only got a short time to do that, so if you're not shooting people and running over to their body and collecting those dog tags, they will go away after a duration, um, so it's best to get those as soon as possible. Uh, and like I was saying, there are quite a few perks in this game. One perk is so that you can be on the other side of the map with, let's say, a sniper gun and take somebody out from real far away and there's a, a perk to allow you to retrieve dog tags automatically. So just little things like this in the game is what makes it kind of interesting. Again, if you're starting off new and you're just getting your ass handed to you, do not get frustrated. Just keep on leveling and keep, uh, you know, getting your points and getting your kills and slowly but surely improving your custom classes because you will get to the point where you start getting very competitive. Um, I'm now doing top three just about every game I play. Level 50, so it's just a matter of how accurate you are, um, your strategies, your tactics. So, in this game, as you can see, I'm doing pretty decent. I've got the scar with the holographic sight. Uh, speaking of holographic, there is a scope in this game that you can attach that is, allows you to project a holographic image. So, it's different than holographic sight. It actually projects an image of you anywhere you want to project it. And what's cool about that is you project it in the middle of the street and you can see a guy come up and waste his whole clip on the holographic image trying to kill it. Now that he's out in the open, you can use your gun and your real rounds and take him out pretty effortlessly in between his loading. So. Again, it's another uh, option in the game that it uh, adds a new dimension, a new variable, you know, to make the game a little bit more exciting. Um, the games are quite um, short on some servers. I have seen as short as 10 minutes, and other other games I'm saying 15, 20, or it doesn't have no time limit. It has like a frag limit, so um, that's another option that you'll see. The maps, as, you, as uh, I stated before, are quite large. If you're using an assault rifle build, I would definitely recommend you using uh, like the Steady Aim Pro equivalent in this game. It does help with your shots. I think the version of the server that I'm currently playing on is called Pro. So uh, right there, I went into the lead with uh, a 15 and 3 score. So I'm doing pretty well. I'm rocking about a 5 to 1 kill death ratio right now, and I'm beating everybody else. You are else. the one to beat right now. Stay on course. But you always will get somebody that comes around the corner for whatever reason. You just blow it entirely. Now, which is what happened right there. Be advised, we have multiple tangles at the bank. Another thing that's cool in this game is the computer will detect that there's a lot of players in a certain area, and you'll hear something come over the intercom like the guy that just said there's a lot of players at the bank, so that's kind of cool. Um, beyond just using your mini map and your HUD, you know, you can kind of go to areas the in the map and familiarize with the maps. Cash in on some players who are weak after a fight. The graphics are pretty good. As you can see, I just went through some water, and the water trails on my visor look extremely realistic. So I'm finishing the game right here for whatever reason. 
final seconds didn't record properly, but I ended up finishing that's up. That's exactly how I like to win. Oh, I guess I did record. Mile. Okay. Uh, with a 16 and 3, so a little bit over a 5 to 1 kill death ratio. So I appreciate you guys watching.